y'all it's Brady thank y'all so much for joining me in today's video I'm going to share with you what we're getting our two girls ages four and seven for Christmas for 2021 okay so I think I'm going to do this in two videos one I'm going to share with you today they're under the tree gifts and then I'm also going to share a separate video with their stocking stuffers. I think that's gonna work best. So um, I will do my absolute best to link everything down below for you. Um, most of these things were from Target, but if there's something that I can find like an Amazon link for, cause I know a lot of people prefer Amazon, I will do that for you too. If it's linked other places, I'll do that too. So as much as I can possibly link will be linked down in the description box. I got some really good deals from Target when they had different sales. And if you don't know, if you've purchased something already from Target and it goes on sale at Target, they will lower, they'll give you a refund for uh, the price difference. So I purchased, we purchased some things and they weren't on sale um, or maybe they were like a dollar or two off, but then they went on, they had a big toy sale where they were buy one, get one half off. And so I ended up getting like $50 back um, across the orders because, uh, or 40, I think it was like $46 that I was able to then roll into purchasing other things that we needed or more gifts. Um, and so just a side note, if you didn't know that, Kohl's also does that. I don't know if Walmart or any of the other stores are doing that, but Target and Kohl's both do that. Okay, um, so I think I'm going to start with their... Um, group gift, which is this, um, I wanted to say American Girl, but it's not. It's the Our Generation dolls from Target, and they had a bunk bed. So, I think I will probably have my husband help me put this together, and then we'll tie a bow on it and put it under the tree on Christmas Eve, like, just fully put together. And I may, we also got them both and each a new Our Generation doll, and so... I'm going to start with my four-year-old things, and then I'll move on to my seven-year-old. Um, so, we did get them each a doll, and then I may even take the dolls out of the packaging or leave them in the box and put them next to... I don't know what we're going to do yet, but um, I think we're definitely going to put the bunk bed thing together. And then, so starting with my four-year-old items, I'll go ahead and show you her doll. So, she got... What is her name? Tanya. And Tanya is, is she a doctor? I'm not sure. Yep, she's a doctor. So it comes with like a, her stethoscope and headlamp and you know, different supplies. Uh, looks like it comes with little toy x-rays and a little tray with scissors and she's got gloves a clipboard and a pen and some gauze and tweezers. I'm sure that they will end up losing most of the little parts, but that's okay. Um, and look, y'all, I don't know if you can see in the package. No, you can't. But she has little pink Crocs on. How stinking cute is that? Um, and so I got that one again at Target as well. And then I saw this cute little puppy in a purse and the girls are absolutely obsessed with puppies and animals and um yeah we just thought these were really cute so these are also our generation brand and they are from target as well and if you pull her out i believe she is a chihuahua yep i think she's a chihuahua she's cute it does have a leash and they've got it just folded up here and then it comes with like a food and water bowl little ball treats toys and even a toothbrush and it comes, like I said, in the little dog carrier so they can tote them around, which they will totally do. And as I say they, because they like to play with the same exact things, even though there is a little bit of an age difference. Um, they play with mostly the same toys. And so you're going to see that we got a couple of things that are the exact same, just maybe a different version. Um, but that's just kind of how we do things. And then I got her this chuckle and roar also from... Target. It is a set of four puzzles, ages three to six. Uh, there's a 48, a 48. There's two 48-piece puzzles, a 72-piece, and a 100-piece. 
Um, and I thought that was pretty cute that the 100 piece is a world map. So that's kind of cool. And then you can store the puzzles back in this box. I don't know if it's easy for you to see, but these were $9.99 each for four puzzles. And I say each because we did get two packs. And then they were buy one, get one half off. So one of them was only $5. Um, they love puzzles. And um, especially my four-year-old has kind of exhausted the puzzles that we do have in her age range. So I thought that would be a fun gift. You'll notice that I don't do a lot of, I don't think anything that I have here is like a bright and flashy noise making. I don't, we just don't do a lot of those toys. Um, we do a lot of open-ended toys. I'm not like a super stickler for it has to be Montessori or wooden or organic and you know, all of these things, but I just find that they play with things more when they're open-ended. So they have a play kitchen, they have a little vanity, and they have a tent in my youngest daughter's room. And so they've got like camping stuff they play with the tent, a sleeping bag, and they've got, you know, different food and cooking things for the kitchen. They also have a dollhouse, so they play with their Barbies there. A um, lot of open-ended toys, a lot of blocks and magnetiles and Lincoln Logs and lots of things with lots of little pieces that drive mama crazy but <laughs> they enjoy it and it's a really good imagination builder um, and I just find that they play with them more. So that's kind of why you'll, the theme you'll notice is there's a lot of crafting, there's a lot of um, just open-ended things. Okay, the next thing that I got was this cute matching Raya the Last Dragon. I think they got this one from Walmart and I think it was only like five dollars. Um, but it's just one of those where you flip all the pictures over and match the different tiles. And she loves Raya, so she's going to think that's super fun. And then I mentioned their kitchen, so I did get some more play food. This is the Melissa and Doug brand. I think this one was from Kohl's, maybe Target. I'm not sure, but if it is, either one I think carries it, actually. I just can't remember where I got the best deal. But I will... Um, Link it down below, like I said. So it's got dairy, breads, meats, and seafood, like proteins, and then fruits and veggies. It looks like it has 21 pieces, I think it says here on the back. Yep. So fruits and veggies, meat, fish, and protein, bread, and carbohydrates, milk, and dairy foods. And they are in four little wooden crates, but I'll probably get rid of those um, and just, I don't know, we may not. But they, their kitchen, and I'll try to link their kitchen down below too, and I'll see if I can put in a picture here. There you go. Their kitchen is from Sam's Club. They do have a different version of it this year, so I'll try to link that down below if you're looking for a really good quality wooden kitchen. We love it. They play with it constantly. Um, and the thing that I like it is it has a lot of actual storage for their food and cookware stuff. Um, so yeah, there's that. The next thing is, I thought this was really cute. This one was only $5 from Target. It's the Mondo Llama brand. And it comes with a little container of six paint pots and a paintbrush and then a ceramic unicorn. And so we'll put some newspaper or something down, an old sheet or something, and let them uh, paint these up one day. They love 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 craft stuff so like i said if it makes a mess they love it <laughs> um the next thing that i got is this blues clues two-sided handy dandy notebook this one was from kohl's because i had some kohl's cash but target also sells this i think walmart and amazon might also sell it too but it's just cute um just something a little fun you know it's like the phone on one side thing So they make different noises and it's mail time. Let's see if it's gonna do it. Maybe not. They may have it where it doesn't really make much noise. But anyways, <laughs> she's almost out of the age range for Blue's Clues, but I saw that one as a super fun little extra gift to throw in there. And I think they each got 10 gifts. Um, 
Well, 10 gifts and then there will be technically an 11th gift, I guess, for both of them because they have, they each get a little craft box and I may put them all in one box and let them open it together or may do two separate boxes. It'll just depend on when I'm wrapping. So I still need to get um, a new pack of markers. Like I, I like to get a fresh pack of markers, like the thin markers or something. Something fun, some glittery crayon, something like that. So I'll get a couple of those little things. And then um, this ne these next two things that I show you are going to go in there as well. As I think we also got some more Play-Doh and um, I don't know, something else. But I just like to do, and probably like a notebook and some new coloring books. And I think I already got their coloring books in our Dollar Tree haul. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it up above and at the end of the video. But, um... I'm almost certain that I got those. I think they're just with their stocking stuffers. So, um, I'll put that in the craft box, though. I just kind of like to freshen it up. I'll go through the cabinet that we have that's under our TV stand. Or, it's in our TV stand that's under our TV that's mounted on the wall. And, I will clean all that stuff out. All the junk papers, different broken crayons, yada yada. And then, we'll put all their new fresh stuff down there for them to have fun with. Okay, so this is also going in the craft box. It's one of the Melissa and Doug Water Wows. Uh, this one is Seasons. Looks like it's got, uh, I don't know, four reusable boards and refillable water pen. I get these pretty much every year. They're super fun. Even my seven-year-old still enjoys them. And um, they're just really fun. I don't know. You know, like I said, there's something easy to travel with. The girls really enjoy them. They do eventually wear out, but they're super fun. And um, it like there's the little pen, and you just fill it up with water, and then they paint it on. If you've never seen these before, and then they just kind of paint on the scent. They paint on the paper with the water pen, and the color comes alive. And then when it dries, it'll be white again, and they can start all over. This is also going in there, this paint with water. Uh, paint with water, this one is horses and unicorns, manes and tails. So it says, use the brush to paint the pictures with water in quick strokes. Paint one picture at a time and always allow to dry before moving on to the next one. So that's on there. Uh, 12 magical pictures to paint again and again. And I think it's kind of cute that it's in this little, like, this is cardboard, like an actual little book. And, let's see. Um, I also, they've seen this on TV. So, we went on ahead and got it. But it is this little cake making set. And it looks like you can make your own little sprinkles and wafer cookies. It does come with some of the Play-Doh drizzle, which this stuff is the bane of my existence. But they only play with it at the kitchen table. And they're going to love it. So, I know we got this one from Target as well. It's just a lot of fun and right up their alley. And the last two things that I got her are shoes. So, I got her these Oshkosh shoes when Target, or not Target, Kroger, Kroger, goodness. Not Target and not Kroger. It was definitely Kohl's. Uh... They were doing their week of Black Friday deals, and so all of these shoes were $15. Plus, I think I got an extra 15% off, plus I earned $10 for every $50 spent in Kohl's cash. So, these are Oshkosh. They're just the little uh, Velcro, like, slip-on sneakers, and yeah, Oshkosh every day, ever play tennis shoes and I thought these would be fun. I did get an 11. She's in a 10 right now um, but I thought it was best to size up and it may seem funny. So my girls love clothes and shoes and all of those things and so for them getting new shoes for Christmas is not like oh boo I didn't get toys. No they love it. <laughs> um, and then the other thing I got is these Oshkosh boots and these are also in an 11. They've got a little zipper. Um, and then they, they do kind of have little flaps so they can get their feet in there easily. And I thought these were super cute. They love boots. It does have really good traction on the bottom too. So I'm really impressed. I'm usually really impressed with the Oshkosh brand. Excuse me. Oshkosh brand shoes. 
So that is all of the gifts that we got for my four-year-old. Let me, let me scoot this stuff over and then I will move my seven-year-old stuff over and show you what she got. Okay, so now let me show you her doll. So my seven-year-old will be eight in April. And again, she is, you know, growing up and getting interest in more like older kid things, but she definitely still enjoys a lot of the same things as my four-year-old <clears throat> for the most part. So I went on ahead and got her a, we went on ahead and got her a new Our Generation doll as well. And they're kind of similarly themed because this one, her name is Naomi, maybe? Noemi? I don't know, y'all. Um, but she has, she is a vet. So she has a stethoscope and a little critter friend and treats and a clipboard and a pen and some little papers. Looks like some sort of medication or ointment and then a little syringe as well. Um, and then she has her cute little outfit and her little loafers are pink. Uh, well, they're kind of like a pinky purple. But I thought that they would really, she would really enjoy this one. So that is her doll. Again, that one was from Target. And then I also saw this as kind of like a little bonus little, little thing. But this is the Disney Five and Up Bell Storybook Adventures. It's only 11 pieces, but she likes the Lego Friends kits and she's really good at them. Um, but this is just something a lot smaller. It folds up. You could take it with you. It looks like there's other princesses um, in the collection, but it's got Mrs. Pot and Chip and the different characters and Belle and the Beast. And uh, yeah, you can just kind of storybook play with it that way. She also got a Mondo Llama brand from Target, uh, paint your own set. This one is a rainbow. This one was $5 as well. And it comes with the paint pots, set of six, and the paintbrush as well. She is going to be super excited about this gift. So this is the Our Generation dog and dog carrier. Like I mentioned, we got my four-year-old, except for this one is a Dalmatian, and she specifically wrote on her Christmas list that she wanted a Dalmatian puppy, and this is as close to another dog as we're going to get. So, he comes with his little leash and bowls and treats and toothbrush, the whole nine yards, just like the Chihuahua one did. So, they're going to have a blast pulling their little puppies around and playing. That one was, again, from Target. It's the Our Generation brand. Um, for her, I actually got this Charades for Kids. So, I say for her, like, I got the Raya game, the matching game, and then I got this Kids Charades game. I think this one was, like, $5.92 from Walmart as well. Um, I'll see if I can find it elsewhere on Amazon or something like that. But I thought this was super fun because I don't know if you can see there on the back, but they have one, two, and three levels. So, like my youngest that cannot read yet, because I think this is three and up. Yeah, ages three and up. So she could just use the pictures to do charades so that she can do her card independently. And then you can even do like a full on, like number one is train. That's just the picture. You could do number two on the card, which says bird cage. And number three says tying a knot. So you can do different levels depending on adults or kids and the kids' ages. Um, it does come with 150 charades cards. So that means 450 charades because there's three on each. The rules, a sand timer, and a game die. And I just thought, what a fun thing to make charades accessible. They are forever acting things out and wanting us to guess what it is. So I thought that was right up their alley. And then I'll go ahead and show you the two things here that I'm going to put in the craft box on her end that are pretty much the exact same as her sister's. She got the water wow as well. Um, I think this one is Seasons also. Yep. So she's still into that. This will probably maybe be the last year that she is, but she's still into it, so I went with it. And then I also got her the paint with water. This one is Shells and Spells Mermaids. And I think this one was from Target as well. So again, you just paint with water, allow to dry, go on to the next one. 
And I mentioned I got her a puzzle set also. So these are, two of them are 100 piece puzzles. One of them is 150 and the other one is 200 pieces. So space, fantasy, dino map, and colorful eats. Age of six and up, so perfect age range. And I thought this was, again, it, it includes storage bags you can put in this box. And I thought this was fun because, you know, they she loves puzzles and it's time definitely to move her up to the next stage. The other thing that's specifically on her list, my four-year-old didn't really have a list. So I just kind of tried to go with her interest, um, got her some things to match big sister, that sort of thing. But this one was also on my seven-year-old's list. She wanted a new Barbie car or Barbie Jeep. So we found the Barbie Jeep. I want to say I got this from Kohl's, but I might have gotten it from Target. I'll see where it's at and I'll link it down below. But it's just a Jeep. It's open. It does have seat belts. Um, it is pretty large. So it will definitely fit two full-size Barbies in there. And I think she's going to be really excited because, like I said, the Dalmatian puppy and that Barbie car were on her list. Okay, so I also got her kitchen set. This one is kitchen accessories, so it comes with a cookie sheet and spatula, salt and pepper shakers, two play settings, so two plates, two knives, two spoons, two forks, a wooden olive oil bo bottle, two cups, a timer, a dish towel, oven mitt, a pot with a lid, a frying pan, and a serving spoon. So it is chock full of fun things to add to their kitchen. And this one is also Melissa and Doug. Ah! There's like a pile of mountain over here that is falling down. Is there something behind me? No, okay. And so the last two things here are shoes as well. Keeping things equal because otherwise they will definitely notice. Um, I don't necessarily love these shoes, but she is going to flip. She's pretty much only going to wear them in the house because it's cold, but she's going to flip. So these are, I think actually from the junior section because they're a five and a half, but that will fit her. Um, I don't know. These little wedge cheetah print, leopard print. I don't even know now. Cheetah. I don't know. Animal print. <laughs> I'm losing my mind today sandals they're little wedges i don't they're not my style but she's gonna love them and she has been complaining that she didn't have any heels so she'll wear them around the house and she'll love them and then her other pair of shoes i got her a pair of boots as well they didn't have any short booties that would in her size so i got this tall pair uh it says they are memory foam and these were $15 as well. And then 15% off plus Kohl's cash. Um, and then they've got the zipper. They zip all the way up. I thought these were super cute. Again, my kids are super into shoes and clothes and accessories. And yeah, so they're going to love that. Okay, so I think that's all for their gifts other than those craft boxes that I need to finish up like I mentioned. So that's everything I've got for y'all. I will, again, I will leave everything that I can possibly link down in the description box for you. Um, if you want to see kind of a hint at stocking stuffers before that video is up, again, at the end of this video here in a second, click on that and watch the Walmart and Dollar Tree shop with me and haul, and you will see some of the stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree and Walmart for stocking stuffers. So, now I need to put all this stuff back in their hidey holes so that they don't get found. <laughs> um, they, to some this may seem like a lot, some it may not seem like a lot. I don't know. It just kind of depends on what your version is. I think we spent about $200 per kid, which is kind of crazy looking at it. It doesn't seem like it. Um, but that does include some stocking stuffers, so that's not pictured here. Um... But yeah, I think it was a good deal. Um, they will get lots of things still from my parents, both sets. And um, so like my mom and stepdad and my dad and stepmom. And then Justin's mom also gets them things. They get things from extended family and friends. So 
they are going to have an abundance for sure. Um, yeah. I normally do some books as well, but I didn't do books this year because we have a ton. And I just didn't see anything that like super stuck out to me. Um, so I just kind of went with more crafty stuff and a couple of toys more than I probably would have done in years past. So that's the plan there. This is everything other than their craft boxes that they're getting. And if I get a chance in a day in the life vlog, I'll show you one of these days their craft boxes when I get them put together. I'll try to do that in a future video. But that's everything I've got for y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are brand new here, I am so glad that you stopped by. Please hit that subscribe button if these are your kind of videos I share. Um, when it's not Christmas season, I share grocery hauls, Sam's Club hauls, what's for dinner videos, cook with me, recipes, freezer meals, and a couple of little day in the life things as well. So if those are your sort of videos, I'd love for you to stick around. And if you are returning and you have made it this far, y'all, thank you so much for coming back. So glad that you are here. So I'm going to get this stuff put away so that my kids don't find it. And then I need to start wrapping. Um, yes. So let me know down below who you're shopping for. Are you done shopping? Have you been done shopping since like July? Or uh, are you like, uh, no, I haven't even started. Uh, let me know. I'm always curious to see where everybody else is at and what's going on with y'all. Uh, give me an update on how you're doing. Say hello if you're brand new or if you just never said hello before. I genuinely love connecting with y'all in the comments. So please do that. Please leave me a note. Just say hello, whatever you want to say. And until the next video, I will see y'all in the comments down below. Bye y'all.